Hey, Steve Basic Architect. We're out here at our historic rental project. And uh, it's Sunday morning, so I figured, hey, good time to do a progress walk. You can see a lot of things happening out here. Trying to get some of the outside. We got some nice weather coming. Um, get the outside cleaned up. You can see we have some of our bluestone going down here, entryway. We'll take a walk around. We got lots of cool things happening on the outside. You can see this is the original structure, original porch. Because of the historical relevance of the project, we weren't able to really manipulate this much. We can clean it up, um, you know, clean up the porch, add new stairs and stuff. But as far as like manipulating the porch or any of that, that's certainly a no-go in the historic commission's eyes. We were under heavy scrutiny when we filed to do this project. So anyways, original front door location. Um, if we come around the side, you can see we brought up the grade significantly here. So we're letting water drift away. We have our new water service. We're starting to put in sprinkler lines, get all of that. You can see the, pretty much the outside of the house is pretty well built up and built out. We have our porch here, which it appears that they're uh, starting to work on. Obviously from the porch, they're working from the top down, put the deck on last, but we have some real simple columns here, some simple column wraps, bases, etc. cetera. The Historic Commission wanted us to keep those really simple. Nice, you know, recessed porch roof there. We have living space above. And you can see here, this is a nice feature. You know, we've taken some of the old rocks and just did a little curb around the outside here. That'll get you a nice little patio planter space here in front of the uh, gable end. As we work our way around the porch, you know, this is pretty much the primary backyard patio, if you will. Um, we have some steps that come down off the side of our porch that goes into the great room. And then we have this large outdoor party space. So we'll have grill area, nice seating area, nice eating area. And you can see we have a step up there. We have our secondary entrance up into the mud room there. And if you remember, the original house is that gable and pretty much everything here has been added on to it. Um, and also remember that the Historic Commission really likes the idea when it looks like a series of additions. So there's some intent behind, say, that shed roof not quite matching up with that little apron of an eave line on the second floor to suggest that there's a series of additions there that they weren't all done at the same time. You know, it's, it's really interesting when you talk about historic homes in New England if you really go look at historic homes, they're kind of a hodgepodge of masses that have been attached to the primary residence throughout the years. A lot of people want to do like a historic home and make it all, you know, very orderly and, um, you know, everything's aligned. But the reality is historic, you know, farmhouses, et cetera, of New England really didn't toe that line very much. So, um, again patio here you know we have some nice planters i don't like to take the patios right up to the perimeter i always think that's kind of a hard edge so having a, a couple feet to uh soften that with i think is always uh, well done adding some plantings and such in there and you can see we have this area here i'm sure we'll have a pathway that goes over to the garage door this is a carriage house that has been on site and we pretty much built around it and as well as provided the access here so that you can get between both buildings to the backyard. Um, you can see on the side of the excavator there, when we demoed the original house, we were able to source a whole bunch of granite from the foundation there. So we're uh, picking and choosing some areas to use that. Let's so come around the side of the garage here. to the driveway so our garage doors have been installed they're nice 
you know, raised kind of barn door panel door system. We also have our secondary entrance into the mud room from the driveway area here. You know, some of the necessary evils of our times are, you know, we have a series of these things that have to be put on the house. They have to have a limited um, run of their lines back to the house and somewhere we needed to put one here. So we'll actually have some nice landscaping here. And, and I know it sticks out like a sore thumb now, but in a couple months here, we will hardly even see it. You can see this is where the old house and new house have be, have met. So we, we've maintained the original granite look there from the street, and then we brought our concrete foundation in behind it to meet there. So, you know, one of the things that from the Historic Commission is, what do I see when I look at this house from the street? And then as we progress down here, this was pretty much the original part of the house that, again, we couldn't really manipulate a whole lot. Um, although in here, surprisingly, we petitioned them to add a couple windows as we change the function of the room on the other side of that wall to the new dining room. So uh, we were able to get some new windows in. And of course, you can see two over two, all wood windows match the uh, existing. So anyways, lattice work there. We're going to get this all cleaned up. we get a whole new planting schedule there. And of course, we're right back where we started, out at the front walkway here. So, um, you know, exciting project, Shoreline Builders, out of Situate. Just, you know, I've been working with them for over 30 years. They always do a just a fantastic job. It's a privilege to work with them. Um, their attention to detail, it's owned by Jim and his son Taylor, project manager on the project. So, anyways. Dream team to work with. That's our progress tour on the outside of our historic rental project. So hopefully you enjoyed that. Steve Basic Architect out here at our historic rental.